thanks for joining me today. Body weight workout for beginners. Today's workout is gonna be something if you have not worked out in a while, if you have knee, hip, lower back, shoulder injuries, this workout is perfect and just right for you, something you could do in the privacy of your own home. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is a dynamic warm up. So the first exercise, as you're standing here, I'm gonna have you do what's called a leg cradle. We're gonna take that foot in, pull that knee wide. We're externally rotating through that hip. So trying to stay nice and tall there through it, we're gonna just get a little warm up there through it. Let's do one more, opening up that hip joint. Now let's do one where you're gonna stretch the hamstring. So just kind of drop that hip back. So think of hip forward, toe up, and I drop back. So the focus today as you're going with more of a, um, a beginner style type workout is something I don't want you to get too sore on things. A lot of times as people are working out, they overdo it the first week or two and then that discourages them. So let's start just kind of nice and easy. So what I would say is just go through each exercise, one, two, or even up to three sets, no more than that. So let's get started. Okay, here we go. Let's jump in on the workout. So I want you to stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. You're going to look straight forward, chest up, shoulder back. You want to always make sure with every exercise you're watching your posture alignment so you don't arch your back. You want to make sure your core is tight. So if with this, we're going to focus on doing a squat. All I want you to do is just push the hips back and just come down nice and easy. You want to let those knees come out. So let's just try doing 10 reps and we'll do one set. Ready? Okay. Come on down, chest up, shoulder back, push those knees out. Two, three, four, good. And kind of get in the quads, hips, glutes. And if I start talking, I'll lose track of the number. So you just let me know what number we're on. Nine, we'll say, here's 10. All right, my wife signaled to me, so that helped. Um, so my, my clients, a lot of times when I'm talking, they'll notice that I'll lose track. So. It's a good thing I use a stopwatch a lot of times. What we'll do next is you're gonna rotate back. You're gonna take this right leg, left leg forward, bend only as much as you feel comfortable. If you have any kind of knee pain, don't bend too much. You wanna bring back and then rotate. Back and then rotate, okay? We're gonna go back and forth on that. You create your range of motion. The more you drop down, the more you'll feel it. Okay, drop back and rotate. What you want to do on this front leg is you want to focus on keeping that knee wide. So you don't want to let that knee travel in. And there's a whole science to that, but it's the glute medius. And we as trainers can help you in that area, but that's basically giving way in that area. So here's number five. Get a little rotation. We're rotating from that thoracic mid shoulder area, as well as the hips. You don't want to rotate from your lower back. Feel the core contract. Just step back. Good. Doing it. I think that's at least 10, right? Oh yeah. Okay, we got 10. All right, next exercise, we're gonna do a little scapula retraction. What that does is it opens up that shoulder joint and it's good for posture. If you lean from your hips forward, you're gonna bring the arm thumbs up. Just like that. So we'll try 10. Where I want you to feel is not here, but in between the shoulder blades. So core tight, chest up, shoulder down. Let's try 10, ready? One, two, good, three. Now as you're doing this movement, you wanna make sure you're not arching your back. So you're feeling that from the shoulders. All right, we're almost there. One more, and 10, good. So there's three exercises. Let's go through four more. We're gonna do seven uh, total today. Next one is a balance. Easy balance one. You're gonna stand on one foot. Think of dipping your foot in the pool, okay? So you don't wanna let your body motion with it. And all I'm doing is just dipping forward, side, and back, and we'll go 10. Okay, ready? Weight back through the heel. So forward, side, back, there's one without moving anything through here. There's two. As you exercise, you wanna focus on breathing. So maintain tight alignment, flex those muscles as you're contracting. And you're gonna be standing on this 
this one a little bit so you'll feel that. <laughs> Good. How's that feel? Feel that working through that hip. And that's that glute medius I was talking about. That's that stabilizer. Good. All right, now last one. Good, perfect. Without moving, now we're gonna switch legs. Now the lower you go, the more you feel it. So you can stand tall and do that. Then as you get stronger, lean down without letting that knee cave in, okay? So we're watching that knee angle, okay? Pull back through the heel, ready, go. And there's one, good. And you wanna just tap the foot without moving your body. Any workout's good, and this one's great. Take what level you're at right now, and it works. And then just start adding to this one of being able to do different, uh, adding uh, more sets to it. Don't even have to add more reps. Good. And that should be 10. Okay, we'll say that was 10. All right. So I think that was four exercises so far. Let's go to three more exercises, okay? Okay, these last three exercises will be down here on the floor. The first one will be a core exercise. It's called marching. So lie back on your back. To make it easier, just use one leg. You wanna think of a blood pressure cuff being below your back and you're trying to add to that blood pressure cuff. You're pressing into it without letting your back arch. To make it harder, let's go two. Okay, ready? Core tight and drop. And now we're just breathing out. A lot of the core movements, the best way to work the core is actually in the breathing. So you tighten and then take big deep breaths regardless of what exercise you're doing. So I don't wanna arch, I'm tightening through here. Breathing out, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's do four more. Just trying to relax down. This is nice because your neck and shoulders are supported. So you're not lifting and straining in that area. Uh, we'll try one more. Okay, so that was marching. Good core exercise, one that you could throw in. Next exercise is bridging. So you're going to scoop and roll the vertebrae up, drive the heels down, point the toes up, and you want to scoop and roll on up, and then come on down the other thread, okay? Now, if you feel tension on the front of your leg, you want to put your hands here. It's called reciprocal inhibition. If you feel the hamstrings, that's synergistic dominance. So I'm going to throw in a little trainer language your way. And basically what you want to do, if it's here, put your hands there. If it's here, you want to drive your heels down, point the toes up, and then really scoop through the glutes. Okay, ready? We'll try 10. Scoop and roll. And just roll down. Try to lift from the glute muscle. And again, if it's the hamstrings, pull in a little tighter. You don't want to get that primary muscle uh, giving way, and that's the glute muscle. <clears throat> Just scoop and roll the vertebrae up. Fill the glutes. And just start with 10 reps, so let's do five more here. Breathing out, lift core tight, scoop and roll the vertebrae and then roll the vertebrae down. Okay, last three. Good, and one more. Excellent, okay. Now the last exercise, so that's good on getting those hips and glutes, good for your knees, for your hips and lower back, is uh, what's called floor slides. Start with your arms out and your range of motion is all indicative of how far back you can go. Start with your arms out. You're going to slide those arms up and then pull down. You want to pull down through those shoulder blades. Breathe in as you come up, out as you come down. And we're trying 10 there on that one. Now what we're getting here on this one is good posture alignment. It's working right below your shoulder blade area. And then that is called the mid and low traps. When you get those to contract, those upper traps will pull back. So really good on getting that alignment. Yeah, just slide on up. And let's try three more. Breathe it out as you pull. One, two, if you work at a desk at a computer, it opens you up there a lot, really through there. Okay, one more. And relax. 
box. Good. Now that was a nice quick workout you could do. Take that workout and then add uh, to it another set. Just go back through the whole video, add another set, and then add a third set. Start slow and slowly build up. Thanks, and if you like these type types of videos, please join me and subscribe below. I look forward to seeing you again soon.